Are you constantly worried that you forgot to pause your maxed fabric capacity and now it's generating unnecessary costs? After watching this video, you no longer have to worry about that, since in this video I will show you how you can use Azure Logic app to automatically pause your fabric capacity. Stay tuned! Welcome to the video, my name is Alexi and on this channel I cover Maxed Fabric and Azure related topics. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create a very simple solution to automatically pause your fabric capacity using Azure Logic app. In the previous video I showed to you how you can pause your fabric capacity using a data factory pipeline that I have been personally using to pause my capacity. A link to that video can be found in the description. In this video I show you an alternative method of doing the same thing by using a Logic app. Let's get started. Here I have a Logic app that will handle pausing a fabric capacity if it's still running. In this video I'm not going to build this Logic app step by step, but I will explain what this does and then I will provide this code of this Logic app in the link in the description so you can import this to your own Logic app and get this up and running. But first let's start by creating a new Logic app and we have to go to the Azure marketplace and search for Logic app. And here we can find the Logic app and then we can click create Logic app. And here we make one very important selection. We would like to select the consumption logic app. And the reason for that is the pricing. This is paper operation. These other logic apps are far more expensive than the consumption logic app. Since we're going to run our logic app maybe once or twice a day, it's going to be a lot cheaper to use this option since the operation that we are doing is a very lightweight and we run it very infrequently. After we have selected the consumption logic app, we can continue and then we have to configure the name of our logic app. Here you can select the name that you want, then you want to select the region that you are using. I'm using the North Europe here and these other settings look good. So we're creating it to our resource group and to our subscription. And then we can just click review and create and then click create. And this should be done quite fast since Logic App is a very fast resource to deploy. And now our deployment has been completed and we can go to our resource group and here we can see that new Logic App that we just created. Then we can open that up and click the Logic App Designer. As we can see this Logic App is now empty and in this video we're not going to build this step by step and we're going to utilize that JSON that can be found by clicking the link in the description. And that JSON can be added to this Logic App code view so let's open up that. And now we want to edit this code view and add that JSON that I have provided in the description. And I can find this same JSON by going to this previous logic app that I showed to you and copying this and then replacing all of this with that JSON and then clicking the save button. And now we can go back to the logic app designer. And we can see that now we have that logic app that we had there previously. And now we can start break down this piece by piece. First I'm defining here the schedule when I want this logic app to run. Here I have defined that I want to run this once a day and the time zone is going to be my time zone and I'm living in Helsinki, Finland so I have chosen that time zone. And then you want to set the start time when you want this logic app to start executing and then you are going to select the hours and minutes and I have selected this to be half past 11 when I want to run this logic app every evening meaning that then we would pause our fabric capacity at half past 11 if it's still running. The next node that we have here is the HTTP request to Azure Management API that will get the status of our fabric capacity. And here we have to modify a few things. First we have the subscription ID here. And this you need to change to your own subscription ID. That can be found by going to your fabric capacity and this subscription ID here. Next thing that you want to change is this resource group name here. And you want to change that to your resource group name. This can be also found in your fabric capacity here. And you can just click this copy button to be able to copy that value. And last thing that we need to change here is the fabric capacity name here. And that's going to be the name of your fabric capacity that can be seen here and also here. And after that this URL has been configured correctly. Next when we check this authentication type here we can see that we're getting this prompt here please enable managed identity for this logic app. 
because Manage Identity is not enabled as default for Logic Apps. Let's first click the Save button here to save our workflow so that we don't lose any changes if we made those. Then let's navigate to this Settings here and to this Identity tab. And here we can turn on the Managed Identity by choosing this one and clicking Save. And this will enable the System Assigned Managed Identity for our Logic App. And while we are here, we can go to our fabric capacity and to the access control and grant access to this fabric capacity for that Logic App's managed identity so that it's able to perform those operations that it wants. So we can go here, add, add role assignment, and then we are going to select this privilege administrator roles and select the contributor role here. And then we're going to select managed identity and from here we are going to click select members and then we are going to select logic app and then we're going to select the logic app to which we want to grant that access to and then click OK and then we can click review and assign and review and assign and this will assign the role assignment for that logic app. If we don't do this step that get request won't actually go through so keep in mind that this has to be done otherwise you won't be able to do these operations. And now let's go back to our logic app and now we have enabled that managed identity and also granted access for the managed identity to our fabric capacity. So now this should be configured correctly. And next in line in this logic app, we have this if condition that will compare this state property that is coming out from our get request to this string active in order to see if our fabric capacity is active. And if it's still active, then this condition will go to this true branch where we need to do our final configurations. And in this true branch, I have this post request that will also do a request to this management API. And also here we need to change the subscription ID and then the resource group name and then the capacity name. Otherwise, this should be already configured correctly. And now I will check that my fabric capacity is running. Let's go to the overview and we can see that it's running now. And now we can save our logic app and try out if we can pause the capacity using this logic app. And let's click run. And now it will trigger a run for this logic app. And we can see that it's now running. And we can refresh this page and now see that it succeeded. And we can see that it took 10 seconds to execute that. And now we can go to our capacity and now we can see that it's paused. So our logic app worked fine and we were able to pause our capacity using this logic app. And now we have scheduled this logic app to run every day half past 11. So it will pause our fabric capacity if it's still running. And from this we can see how does the execution for that logic app went. So it went to that true branch and we didn't execute anything inside that false branch. And we can try to run this logic app again using this button here and we can see that it succeeded kind of immediately. And now we can see that it went to that false branch since our fabric capacity was not active and it was already paused. And of course, if you would like to pause multiple capacities with this same logic app, you could modify this a bit and add this block into a for each loop and then pass some type of configuration to that loop to determine which capacities you want to pause. Since now we have hard coded these capacity details to these URLs. Now you should have an idea how you can use Azure Logic apps to pause your fabric capacity and save some money. If you'd like to learn more about fabric, check out this video next. Now I thank you for watching and see you in the next video.